Well, hello everyone. Today I am sharing with you some of my sister's craftsman farmhouse home decor ideas. She does so many DIYs and I thought it'd be really fun to share that with you. I'm just starting in her backyard though and front yard just to give you some something to look at actually since I'm not filming my face right now and I just think she has such a beautiful yard too and is so um, fun to see her put together her house and how how amazing it looks so she has such inspiration and I'm excited to share that with you most of her DIYs are found on Pinterest so I will make sure to put either her board on in the description box or um, the actual link of where she has found these ideas but um, yeah it's just so fun to see her inspiration and I hope you're inspired as well to see what she's done with her craftsman farmhouse style decor So the first area is in her kitchen. She has really high ceilings, so it makes for a great way to do DIYs. She made the eat sign and the market sign as well, which on Pinterest it said kitchen. Um, the tomatoes, onion, herbs, another DIY. And then I just love how she's collaged things. Her last name starts with a K. So just bought that somewhere and she just has the space above her kitchen cabinets to do that. I do not. So I do think that's really lovely that she can do that and put all of that um, stuff and decor up there to make it look her style. And some of it is super practical too. Things she'll use and get down from up top there. She also made that white box where she holds her coffee flavoring syrups and um, then she just has some of her farmhouse style decor up there too. And again, some more practical decor. living room above her TV she made all these arrows the home sign um, and the separated arrows as well I do really like the collage that she has and she also repainted her window frames white which makes that very craftsman style too um, above her piano this window was from my dad's old barn and then she made the grateful thankful blessed sign I don't know if that one is on Pinterest or not but I'll check and of course those vintage books are a must for decorating in this style and then she just rolled some of the old papers and put it in a half gallon mason jar just so simple and so cute I'm pretty sure she made this sign um, quite sure actually it's from an old beehive box and then I think she also made the bookends for those vintage books and those vintage books are from me actually because I go thrifting a ton and gave some to her. These um, white and gray picture holders she DIY'd and then I think she DIY'd the magnetic board too. She's got two girls who are in school or school age so it's a good landing station for her by their stairs going to the basement so I just think that's a really cute really simple way to add decor and practicality as well now we're in their master bedroom they have a nice large master bedroom she has a couple DIYs that I'm going to focus in on here but I like how her nightstands don't match and they're just antique tables so um, the two signs she made are the hello there handsome and good morning gorgeous totally look like you could pay 50 bucks a piece yet she DIY'd them with things she had on hand and then she does have one more DIY in her room that um, has their wedding date on it above their bedroom door so I hope this is inspiring for you don't forget to like it and subscribe if you're a no all right bye guys